Hello, I'm Dr. Philip Kaufman from the University of Florida's IFAS Entomology and Nematology Department. We're going to talk about ticks that occur on your pets, particularly your dogs and cats. In Florida, we have three primary ticks that you're most likely to run into. They include the brown dog tick, the lone star tick, and the deer tick. Two of these ticks, the deer tick and the lone star tick, are primarily outdoor ticks, while the brown dog tick, which only affects your dogs, will be found indoors. This tick doesn't have any coloration on it. In fact, it appears solid brown. The two other ticks are outdoor ticks. The Lone Star Tick is the most common tick that you're going to encounter in Florida. The Lone Star Tick female has a single white dot on its back. The male Lone Star Tick has multiple white markings on its back. The deer tick doesn't have any coloration, although oftentimes the female will have a reddish abdomen while the rest of her is brownish and black. These ticks come in a variety of sizes, but all ticks start out as very, very small, the size of a period in a newspaper, a sesame seed. They progress through a couple of life stages where they get a little bit bigger at each stage, and certainly after they take a blood meal, they'll swell up quite a bit. The adult ticks will end up being the size of a raisin, and those are the females when they're getting ready to lay their eggs. So these ticks will then drop off the host and move into the environment to lay their eggs. So the next question you might have is how do I find and control ticks on my pets? Hi, I'm Dr. Dunbar Graham with the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Florida. I'm a dermatologist on staff here and today we'll be talking about ticks. Ticks can come and go in waves throughout the year, but sometimes there are certain seasons with them. Ticks are important for two main reasons. One, they can transmit diseases such as Lyme disease to both cats and dogs. And then the all-important yuck factor. When you find a tick on your dog, it just gives you the creeps at times. Ticks can hide out on the body and be in places that are difficult to find, but sometimes they're very obvious. So especially after you've gone for a walk in the bushes or the woods, just like you would with your yourself, it's good to do a tick check on them to catch them before they attach, because they do have to attach before they can transmit diseases. So it's very good afterwards to just take a nice look at your pet. You know what they like to do, and you can see Miss Abby here loves being petted, and we just make this a fun thing to do. You look uh, um, at the face, and you look under the chin where the hair is extra thick, and under the collar, and make sure you don't find anything there. One place ticks like to hide is right here in this little crook of the neck and under the ear where the hair is also thick. And then you just, sometimes you can feel them or see them as you just kind of look through. And many dogs like to roll over on their belly, especially at home, not so much at the veterinary clinic, but let's see if Abby will cooperate with us. Hey, baby. Yeah, it's very good. So I'm gonna look at your armpits. We're gonna look at your belly. You were very brave. Yes, now let's just feel under those areas to make sure I'm not picking up anything. The other important thing to do is check a few days afterwards because sometimes you can miss a small tick and then catch them after they've started to feed on the blood and they become larger. And if you get into that situation, it's a good time to call your veterinarian and talk about the best way to remove a tick that is attached. And lastly, a very important piece of information to realize is that cats are particularly sensitive to certain types of flea and tick medication. And medication that's safe on a dog may actually be lethal to a cat. So please always read labels very carefully and check with your veterinarian about products that are safe to use on your cat or in a household that has both dogs and cats. For more information about taking care of your pet, please visit Solutions for Your Life.